All right, it's 9.30 on a Sunday morning, 9.30 a.m., and I just woke up and I noticed, all right, the Wilds protected list is about to be revealed, and it was. No real big surprises, but we will go over the list, go over who's exposed, go over what I think the most likely scenario is, and yeah, pretty much so. I can pull up my screen, share screen on here, and we can go over the Minnesota Wild protected list. So it was revealed pretty much this morning. I tweeted it out at 9.18 a.m., Minnesota Wild protected list. Forwards, Joel Erickson Eck, Kevin Fiala, Marcus Folino, Jordan Greenway, Ryan Hartman, Nico Sturm, Matt Zuccarello. No surprises here. The Parisi spot and the Suter spot likely opened up the avenue to protect guys like Greenway and Nico Sturm, who were seemingly going to be available. Defense, Jonas Brodeen, Matt Dumba, Jared Spurgeon. Matt Dumba uh, over Carson Soucy, who is probably going to be taken and then goalie kind of a surprise i mean i hate to toot my own horn i hate to brag but i did predict cam talbot my second most recent podcast episode with tanishka but hey it is what it is that's a nice list it's what i would have done i think i laid out the entire list a couple days ago predicted it not that it was the hardest thing in the world to predict i think forwards defense were pretty much locked in and then this will now this leaves Kapo Kakinen, Carson Soucy, as the two most likely Minnesota Wild players to be taken by the Seattle Kraken. Yesterday it was tweeted, it's expected that uh, Seattle takes whichever of Kakinen and Talbot Minnesota Wild leaves exposed. I don't know if that's so true now because, alright yeah, right here. All signs point to the Seattle Kraken signing and selecting pending UFA goalie Chris Dreiger from the Florida Panthers as part of the expansion draft process. So. Do they do that and then go take a Kapo Kakinen? Maybe they go take a Carey Price instead, who's been left exposed. So, a lot of stuff happening. Minnesota Wild expansion draft is in three days now, so that's fun. Definitely looking forward to that. But, yeah, that leaves Carson Zuzzi, Kapo Kakinen, uh, Victor Rask, Nick Bugstad. Here, I'll pull up the full exposed list. So exposed are Bugstad, Rask, pending free agents Bonino, Johansson, Will Bitten, Mason Shaw, Dimitros, Dimitri Sokolov, Yosef Kamar Kramarosa, Gabriel Dumont, Luke Johnson, Kyle Rao. Defensemen, Susie, and pending free agents, Manel, Cole, Hunt, Sportowski, you know, all the pending free agents. Goalie, Kapo Kakinen. And remember, players like Krill, who have less than three years of pro, ex pro experience, are exempt, so... No need to worry about that. That's why he wasn't on the protected list, if you were wondering. Yeah, as I mentioned, Parisi. Suter opens two spots that were likely gifted to... Not Dumba, because I guess Dumba was always going to be the... Th was he always going to be the third defenseman? No, it was going to be Suter. So, this opens up a spot for uh, Dumba. And with the forwards, it opened up a spot for Sturm, Greenway. You know, take your pick there. Whichever one of them wasn't going to be on there, so... Overall, I like the list. I think it's a solid list. Nothing wrong with it. My prediction is, you know, maybe Bill Guerin goes all out, all, all out sends a first-round pick to Seattle, and makes them take a, a Victor Rask, but we'll see. Maybe not. But if that doesn't happen, which is not the most likely scenario, I would say Seattle ultimately does take Carson Soucy during the draft. And that's fine for the Wild. They can fill the hole. But they do have the Ryan Suter hole already. Matt Dumba might end up being moved. So losing another defenseman is not ideal. But every single team loses a good player. You know, it is what it is. They're not going to take Victor Rask unless really incentivized. So so we will see. But let me know. What do you think? Was this what you expected out of the list? Yeah, so leave a comment. Say, what would you have done with the goalies? That's part, probably the part I'm most intrigued by. Protecting 34-year-old Talbot over 24-year-old Kapo Kakinen. Let me know in the comments. Would you have done the same? Anything you would have changed? Would you have protected Susie over Dumba? Really, that's the only big decision besides the goalie, right? I mean, they weren't going to do... They weren't going to protect Victor Rask or Nick Bustad at any point. So, let me know, though. Comment below. Say, hey, I would have done this. And then subscribe. And then leave a like. And then go watch another video, and then comment on that video, and then like that video, and then subscribe again. Anyways, thanks for watching. Alright, have a good day everyone. New podcast up today where I will we'll talk about this. Alright.